Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's that time of year again, one of the best times of the year again. It's NFL playoff time. Well, next week it is, but let's start off this kind of playoff frenzy with my playoff predictions. Do it every year. Never been close to being right this year. We fixed that. Um, and it's a good it's a good bracket this year. It's some new teams, it's teams that, there's a lot of teams that have the potential to go all the way, and I'm going to break it all down, given my predictions right here. Let's start the 4-5 in the wild card. two teams that I don't really think you'd, at the start of the year, you wouldn't really expect them to be in that spot. Winner goes to play the Ravens, who have that bye. Browns are playing really well, Texans are playing really well. It's It's tough, because Bryce Young is playing as good as any young quarterback in the league, and He's actually been one of the top quarterbacks in the league. But for some reason, the Browns, I feel like they're just getting more uh, production from everybody. And as much as I would love to see the Texans win, I'm definitely rooting for them. I think, I think the Browns win this one. So now we get to every year test my writing. Not bad. All right, let's keep moving down. Chiefs, Dolphins. Another one where, I mean, all of these could go either way, of course. I'm not going to say that for everyone, but it could for this one especially. Um, the Dolphins, it doesn't feel like they're playing their best football right now. The offense hasn't gone downhill, but it's starting to slow down a bit, which every good offense does after a hot start to the season. Um, and as much as I hate the Chiefs and would love to see them lose, they somehow still got that home playoff game. Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs just seem to always show up in the playoffs. So I think they'll show up for this one game here in the playoffs. And I'll give KC a first-round win over the Dolphins. As much as I would hate to see it done, they just find their ways. All right, who's going to play the Chiefs? Um, this one's an easy decision for me. I'm going Buffalo. To move to the next round, Steelers just don't have enough firepower on either side of the ball. And the Bills are playing their, the hottest football that anybody's seen in quite some time. So they should be able to handle the Steelers at home. Let's go to the NFC here in the wild card. Who's going to play the 49ers who got the one seed and the first round bye? It's between the Buccaneers and the Eagles. The Eagles are playing really bad right now. And they got blown out by the Giants. They're, they're getting blown out by about everybody they see right now. And as much as I'm not confident in that the Buccaneers are going to be able to show up, they're at home. And they just beat the Panthers 9 nothing yesterday. But heck, they're playing Eagles. And the Eagles just don't seem to not have any confidence going their way right now. So give me Tampa Bay with a first-round win. Lions, Rams, that game's in Detroit in the Dome. Two teams that are familiar to a Dome. They both play in a Dome on turf. Um, the Rams are actually starting to heat heat up. They're, they're getting a lot from Puka Nakua, and uh, the Lions are playing just as fine. So this is a really intriguing 6-3 matchup on the NFC side, and I really should have thought these through before I went through this, but... Man, but however, Detroit getting getting that home playoff game, I think it's I, I, it's gonna pay off to their advantage. The Rams are the Rams aren't looking half bad right now, but I think that home field advantage might give the Lions an extra edge. That'll be a close one, and I'll probably be wrong on that. But I'll go with the higher seed at home. Now, my Dallas Cowboys against the Green Bay Packers. Cowboys haven't lost at home in nearly two seasons. It maybe has been two seasons. Eight no this season. Love playing on turf. Dak Prescott, an MVP candidate until a couple years ago, but still, I mean, still playing really well. Um, the only issue is going to be is if the defense can figure out Jordan Love and the Packers, but I'm confident we can. Home field, first round of the playoffs. We've needed it this last couple years. And the Dallas Cowboys are going to play the good rematch with the Lions. 
in the divisional round. Back to the AFC we go here. <clears throat> Ravens, Browns. I'm, I, I'm going to have to go Baltimore here. Although they're coming off of almost a two-week bye, I still think that they're the better team. I don't know if the Browns have that kind of a run in them. Um, who knows? They could be juiced up. They could come out fast, and they could have a game plan that really stumps Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. But I think the way Baltimore's playing, not many people are going to be able to stop them right now. And so that's why I like... Baltimore. Down here, I'll show the divisional round. Chiefs, Bills, they meet again. It seems like we always find ourselves in that spot. It's, it's Buffalo this year. It's Buffalo. Kansas City just is, doesn't have it this year. They aren't as good. Everybody knows it. Um... And the Bills are playing really hot, so it feels like almost an obvious answer to go Bills. But Chiefs, don't be surprised if they pull off the... I mean, be surprised because it doesn't seem like they have it in them, but they just always find a way come playoff time to work their way into that, uh, into that final four. Divisional round in the NFC 49ers. Bucks, it's San Francisco. Uh, Forty Niners just are better than the Bucks in almost every category you look. Um, Brock Purdy, I've never been on for him for MVP. Not a big fan of him. Don't judge me on that. I have my reasons, but uh, uh, he's he's gonna he's gonna be better than Baker Mayfield in this game. Christian McCaffrey's gonna have another big game. Give me San Fran by actually a wide margin there. Now Detroit, Dallas. The Cowboys are the Cowboys are back at home. So I, I I think this would be a home game, right? Two hosts in the three. It should be. Heck, I'm I i do not know how the NFL bracket works, but whatever. Um, Detroit, Dallas. I think no matter where the Cowboys play, they're gonna be on turf. They're going to be in a dome, which, um, again, is where they where their home is, and they're undefeated there. So I like them over the Lions, which they already beat. It, say call it controversial, but uh, they already beat the Lions, and I think if it's a divisional round, the Cowboys are going to be wo more woke up and should take care of the Lions to get the Cowboys to the NFC Championship with a rematch of the 49ers. They've needed it. Baltimore, Buffalo, who's going to stop the Bills? Is it going to come now? Is it, Or is their season going to come to an end? Are the Ravens going to be able to get back to the Super Bowl? It's a tough pick. Going to keep you guessing here because I still need to think it over. I got to go Buffalo. It's a bad weather game. Sure, the Ravens are used to it. The Bills are both used, well, assuming it's a bad weather game since it's in Baltimore. Uh, they're used to it. Both teams are used to it. But I think I think the Bills, like I keep saying, they're just hot right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it Buffalo's game. And for a team that didn't look like it would make the playoffs in the middle stage of the season, how about that? Bills to the Super Bowl. Um, I really wanted to pick Baltimore, and probably should have picked Baltimore. I'm not going back now. Um, but with the Ravens getting that bye, really good chance they're going to be in the Super Bowl. And unfortunately for me, the Cowboys road's going to come to the end. And the NFC Championship, hey, if we can make it to the NFC Championship, I'll be happy because even that would be a win to shut some of the haters up. Um, unfortunately, that'd be the third straight year in a row we lose to the 49ers, though. That would not be pleasant. Um, but that game's in San Fran, uh, where the Cowboys already own one this season. They've struggled against the Niners. So give me Niners, Bills, in the Super Bowl. Who's my Super Bowl champion this year? Hate to do it to you, Buffalo. Hate to do it San Francisco to you, because I am not a big fan of the Niners. 
give me them as the 2024 Super Bowl champions. And for, I mean, I've been saying all season that I don't think the 49ers are the best team. And I really don't know that I still think they are, but their road, their road is favorable. And, um, again, they're another team that seems to find a way in the playoffs. So give me the Niners and top the Bills in Super Bowl. I don't know how to read Newman, Roman numerals. Um, I do. I always saw.